Hello and welcome to this session on Robot Framework Beginner Tutorial. And in this session, we are going to see how do we run our Selenium test on different browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Edge, IE, etc. So we will add the browser exe files and then we will test if we can run our Selenium test on different browsers on Robot Framework. And uh, I hope you have seen the earlier tutorials where we started working with Robot Framework and in the last session we created our first Selenium test. So uh, assuming that you have seen the earlier session, let us begin with today's session. And to save some time, I have already added some notes here. So step one is we will open our right, which is Robot Framework IDE that we are using to create our test cases. So I will just open my command prompt and I will say write dot py and this should open my write IDE. So here we are and if we go inside test suite and test case, this is the test case that we created in our last session. So now we had already added the Chrome browser executable file so this can run on a chrome browser so if i go to the run section and hit on the start button it will run the test on a chrome browser so it opens a chrome browser goes to robotframework.org website and then finally it will close the browser so everything is fine and we have got a success and we can also see the report and logs that we have already seen in our last session. Now suppose if I want to change Chrome to some other browser, let us say I want to use Firefox. I am seeing Firefox and I will again save and run the project. Now you are seeing it is failing and it says Geekko driver executable not found. So here is the message. Geekko driver executable needs to be in the path. So what we need to do is Whatever browser we need to run our test on, we have to get the browser driver exe files. So we will go to our browser and go to seleniumhq.org website. So this is the official website for Selenium. And here you can go to the downloads section. And here, if you go down, you will find this section for third party drivers, bindings and plugins. And if you go down, you will find all these browser drivers. And we have a Mozilla Geekko driver for Firefox. We have Chrome, Opera, Microsoft Edge and similarly other browser drivers. So what we are going to do is in case you want to run our test cases on Firefox, we will take Geekko driver and whatever latest version you have at your time, you can take that. So as of now it is 0.19.0. .0. So I will just click on this link and here I will take the Geekko driver for my operating system. So I am using Windows 64 bit operating system. Also in case you want to see your bit size in case you are using Windows you can go to your uh, my computer or this PC and right click go to properties and here you can see your bit size for your operating system. So I am mine is 64 so I will just uh, get this Windows 64 for Geekko driver and let it download. I will just go here to its location. I will unzip it. You can use any utility to unzip it. I am just using 7-zip. And here it is. So here we have got our Geekko driver.exe file. Now I will take it from here. I will uh, just copy it from here or cut it from here. And now I will go to my C drive where my Python folder is. So my Python folder is in C Python 27 and inside scripts, I will add this executable. So Chrome driver is already here. And now I will add uh, my Geekko driver as well. So I have added my Geekko driver here. Okay. Now this Geekko driver is available directly to my robot uh, scripts because I have already added this path in my environment variables. So we have seen this in our earlier session. So if I again show you very quickly, if I go to uh, my computers, properties, advanced system settings and go to environment variables and go to the environment variable called path. Yeah, and if I go to environment variable path, 
and click edit you can see this uh, python 27 scripts folder is added to my environment variable path and because of this it is now uh, everything which is inside this folder c python 27 scripts is available across my system so now i do not have to set the path for a uh, geeko driver in my coding or in my robot framework i will just now go to my robot framework and here now i will just run it again so let us see if now it runs on a firefox browser So it's it opened a Firefox browser and yes, it is now going to the website robotframework.org and once it is loaded, it will then close the browser. So everything is successful and we can see the report. Everything is passed. We can also see the logs. Everything is okay and everything is passed. So we are able to run our test on Firefox browser. Now similarly, you can also use any browser. For example, if you want to run on Microsoft Edge, you will do the same thing. Go to this website and then take the driver executable for uh, Edge browser and then include it in your scripts folder or whatever folder is there which is available across the system. Similarly, you can use Safari driver and others. In case you are going with uh, Internet Explorer, then there is a different section here. So yes, Internet Explorer, you will find a section here and you can get the 32 bit or 64 bit driver for IE. Also, one thing to note here is sometimes 64 bit uh, driver does not work very, very well in even if your operating system is 64 bit, but 32 bit uh, driver works well with a 64 bit operating system as well. So you can try it out. And so let me go back to my notes. So the second step is create a step to open browser in Firefox and we have already seen that this failed the first time and then we did the third step which was get browser driver exe file. We went to selenium hq.org and downloaded the browser exe file and we kept the file in python 27 scripts folder and the note I have already told you this folder should be added in environment path variable and then we did open write go to test case and then we started our test with the new browser and it worked fine. Here is a list of the browsers and the name to use. So for Firefox, you can use Firefox or FF for Google Chrome, for this one for Internet Explorer and for Edge. Also, you can go back to your ride and go back to your test cases. And when you click on uh, this keyword open browser, you can press control plus spacebar on your keyboard and it will show you all the details you can click here inside the window and it will open as a separate window and here you have all the details you can see the browsers and the names that you have to use for these browsers and also you get all the syntax here so this is very good in robot framework that you can get all the details of every keyword how exactly you have to use it what are the uh, names you have to use for different browsers and so on another thing is you can also use a keyword called log to console so in case you want to write anything on the console so i want that at the end i just want to uh, log on console completed successfully okay so i'm just writing to the console and i will save it and let me run it again let me go back and use my chrome browser here and save it and run it again it opens a Chrome browser, goes to the website, and it will close it. And let us wait for the results. And yes, we have got the results. And you can see it has written completed successfully on our console that we wanted. So we have done this and the final step run and validate we have also done so this is how we can uh, run our test cases on any browser within robot framework in the next session we will learn more about different features of a test case test suite and we will start looking into variables and keyword i hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching